Good morning, van life lovers and musicians. Welcome to the first informal vlog, let's call it. Thank you so much for the response that you gave out yesterday, or whatever the day this is that you're watching this. Um, I love that you guys want to see more about what it's like living in a bus and more about my life in general, I guess, uh, in a more informal manner whilst keeping the high quality Wednesday videos going, the updates and uh, the, the one hour song challenges. Uh, these videos are going to just be whenever I feel like I want to do them. Like there's going to be no pressure. I hope you see them as bonus content where you're like, oh, George has uploaded something new that isn't on his normal schedule. Welcome to the first one. Alarm goes off at half seven. Normally the sunshine's blaring through, but it's cloudy today. And I get up and go for a run or do yoga, depending on where I am and how much I want to explore. I'm actually parked in a forest, which I'll show you real soon. So today I want to go for a run. Yesterday I mentioned about my washing hanging up. Most of it's down now, but basically where I went to to do my washing, the, the dryer was broken. So I had to hang my washing up in the bus. And the bus does not normally look like this, I promise you. This makes it look like van life is not glam at all. All my underwear hanging up on my volleyball net. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go for a run and explore this area. So I've had my run, had a bit of yoga, I've tidied up, I've literally spent like an hour packing away all the washing, uh, everything that I normally do in the morning, but it just felt like there was so much. I had socks hanging on the windows, so much to pack away, and I, I admittedly didn't wash up last night when I uh, finished eating because it was really late. So last night I was going through the film. Um, this weekend, for those of you that don't know, I'm releasing a film, well, I'm not releasing, we're doing like a premiere, like a screening of a film that I uh, directed and filmed and edited last year and, and basically still now. This is the final day. I've just got the audio back today of what I think might be the final audio for the film, which will be a huge tick off the list. So I'm about to make my morning coffee sit down, watch the film before I head off to towards Dusseldorf Airport and I'll show you guys the routine of what I do when I move the bus. Um, also, I had a shower this morning. For those, those of you that don't know, I do get asked this question a fair amount actually. I do have a shower on here. It's I've got a boiler, I've got a heater, and then in here, the light's not on so I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I have my sink and then this that extends out, stick it up there, there's the shower, and it's actually like, hang on, let me turn it on. It's like a, it's a decent, it's a decent spray. It's not like a, it's not like a crappy one. It definitely does the job. I'm happy. It means I can wash my. That's why I've got wet hair. You normally only see me when I'm like prepped and sat there, ready to do the, do the vlog. Also, I've got something to show you. Something bad happened yesterday. Um, yeah. I broke my keyboard <laughs> quite badly. And that's so sharp as well. Like I'm really worried I'm gonna hurt myself on it. But basically I was picking the keyboard up to just put it on the floor where it normally goes when I drive. And yeah, I dropped it and it landed like face down like toast. You know that saying like buttered toast will always land face down. It landed face down guys. So that's smashed. But the, the wonderful people at Sound Technology who are the suppliers for Nord, I called them up, I said the situation, and they were like, don't worry about it, we've got you back, just find us an address to post it to when you're in Brighton this weekend, and we'll we'll give it to you. And I said, where do you want the, in like, do you want to send me the invoice for you there, and I can pay it before it goes, or are you happy for me paying? And they were like, no, 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 honestly, it's on us, don't worry about it. So, I've got to open the keyboard up next week, when Isaac gets back and fix it. What a plonker. Here's my view today. Just fields. It's quite hard to see it, actually. Yeah, there you go. Coffee time. I don't know if there's anybody watching this that is a big coffee lover that doesn't have one of these. I think in America they call them percolators. In Italy, Francesco taught me uh, it's called a mocha or a mocha. I don't think it's a mocha because I think that's M-O-C-H-A. This is a, I think, I'm going to guess a mocha. Tell me if I'm right in the comments, Francesco. I want to know. And if I'm saying it wrong, see if you can spell it somehow that 
we, we might know. But I highly recommend getting one of these. Not many people that come on the bus know how to use them or fill one up, so let's do it. I don't normally drink out of the tap water because sometimes I'll fill up at a place where maybe the hose Maybe the hose that like we're filling up with is just a normal hose and it doesn't necessarily say drinking water. Sometimes you can judge when it's good drinking water. Like the water that's in the system now is good drinking water, but the water that was in before, the tank before, like I don't know if that was good drinking water. So if I drink out of the tap, normally I'm sticking in here unless we've completely run out of water in these bottles. I've had these bottles for a long time. I don't know if that's bad for my health, but I just hate throwing away plastic, so I just always fill up stacks of these. I've actually got some bigger ones as well down here. This is my little water station. I have some big bottles. All of this is normally drinking water. It's funny, you have all this, you have this lovely kitchen, and yet drinking water is still just out of a bottle, but you kind of get used to it. Boom. Encroyable. Also, this is naughty, but last year I was bought these. I have a mocha, vanilla, salted caramel. Salted caramel is clearly most popular. In fact, I'm going to have one of those today. There's not much left. That's the sound you want. I have a really boring breakfast today. So because, you know, when you go away for the weekend, I've been... <laughs> I've been trying to eat everything in the fridge, so I've not got anything left, really, and I have no interesting breakfast left, so I literally have plain... This is the last bit of plain cornflakes. So what I'd normally do at this time in the morning, for those of you that are wanting to know about my life and like what I'm doing on a daily basis around the music and the album. What I'm trying to build here is a business around the album and the bus and Made on the Road. So I see Made on the Road as the, um, like the kind of like the record label to it all. It's like the producer to everything that I do is Made on the Road. That's how I see that. As you guys will probably be aware, I've got the Instagram, which is my Instagram, and then I've got the Made on the Road Instagram. I try and treat them as a separate thing. I guess like one is van life and one is music. And I am kind of putting, by doing these vlogs now, I'm kind of putting those into one YouTube channel. Um, it's amazing how many musicians dream about living in a van and having a studio and traveling. Like, it's, yeah, it's amazing. So if we can inspire you guys or, or people that are discovering the channel or haven't yet discovered the channel, um, by spreading the word then that's awesome so on my personal account i have 23 messages in the last 24 hours and i don't think i even asked anything on my story so i'd normally start the day like with a coffee just replying to everybody um just on my personal instagram then i switch over to my made on the road one which doesn't get quite as much but we get more six so I've got six messages since last night. Um, so I just sit and respond, enjoy a coffee, enjoy communicating with you guys. Then move over to YouTube. Yesterday's video with you guys had loads of questions, loads of, not questions, like comments. So one thing I really love about making these videos is like the communication. Like I really enjoy chatting with you guys about just stuff. Like whether you've got any questions or I enjoy your feedback. Some of you give really um, open and honest feedback and I really love that. And recently I've been having a lot of conversations with people about uh, why my channel or why YouTube and whatever's going on here isn't getting massive numbers. Um, I mean, on one side, if, if you've listened to the podcast, like last week I was talking about how I'm not that fussed about the numbers. It doesn't, I don't get a kick out of the numbers. What I get a kick out is the interactions. But that's what I'd normally do in the mornings with my coffee and my breakfast. Have a good weekend. Hey, last message. It is 23 minutes past 11 now. So that took, I mean, it takes it takes quite a long time to catch up. And that's pretty much every day. I try and do some stuff in the evening and keep up. But the thing is, obviously, when you send messages in the evening, you wake up to a load of messages. So, so this is the film. I'm going to sit down now and hopefully have my last watch of the film before tomorrow, before we show it for the first time. If you guys are interested in watching the film, the, the idea of the film was we, we all got together in various places around Europe, um, got creatives together and got people that wanted to like experience living maybe differently together for a weekend to have conversation, to get creative. Um, some people did performances, we ate together, we, we made food together. 
brushed our teeth together and basically just lived um, in a bit of a community for a weekend just to experiment really with different ways of living. So that's what I've made this documentary about. It's a 45 minute documentary and if you guys are interested, this week, so the 18th to the 25th, we are distributing the film for free to anybody that wants to host an event. If you want to get together with like four or five of your friends, cook some food or maybe everybody brings a bit of food, uh, watch the film, have some discussion, let me know and I will send you a link to the film for you to watch. The only kind of, uh, I want to say rule, but rule's the wrong word, the only request that we have is that it, um, the idea is that we are showing people the film for free in exchange for people making their own uh, memories and experiences. So um, if you don't think you'll be able to put those together, don't worry. We will be distributing the film in other ways over the next six months. Yeah, very excited for it. Very nervous, but this is... This is going to be my final viewing. I'm going to get it on the big screen. In fact, I'm going to show you the trailer now because I don't think I've showed it on my channel yet. But here's the trailer for the film. Take a moment. Look around. What do you see? What do you feel? Our surroundings are such a beautiful thing. But here's the twist. We see, but do we observe? Do we witness nature's diversity? Welcome inspiration which only comes from our dependence upon each other. Do we rest with friends, allowing the wonder of being in a moment to shape our future? I notice that creation sparks our curiosity to connect on another level, to build together, to emerge into an unknown adventure. Who could we meet? What might we experience? And isn't that what's exciting about life? The mites? the maybes. There we go guys, there we have it. Yeah, I feel like I'm emotional because I actually watched it for the first time of like what meaning is this film going to put out there to people and the emotion in the last 10 minutes is like, like what people said. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. So something you guys don't see very often is my bus packed down ready to move routine because I don't know, I guess it's kind of boring to show every week. Um, I'm going to head to the airport now and get some parking. It's it's 12.40 now. I'm not flying till 8.45 tonight. Obviously, I need to be there at 6.45, recommended. But I think I'm going to go there a little bit... Uh, well, I'm going to go to the parking now, just so that I know I have parking. Because parking a bus like this just makes me a bit anxious. Um... I think that's why I'm nervous. I don't ever get nervous to fly, but I'm a bit, I feel a bit nervous today and I feel like if I get there, get parked, I'll just feel a lot better. So then I can work from there and do a bit more there. So first thing I do is go around and make sure that everything off the surfaces and sides are like tidy. So that's job number one. All the surfaces are now clean. Anything that I'm going to be using throughout the day, I just stick on here because it doesn't move. Coffee pot can always stay on there. I then go around and lock all these doors. By pushing all these in, it literally keeps them all locked. They don't all swing open. All my cupboards have these, so just make sure they're all pushed in. Uh, push, push, push. Make sure that anything on the sides is secure. And then finally, this is the most amateur thing. And I've always said I want to get some more secure things, but all the blinds, because they just pull, pull down like this, and then they stay where they are. They don't have anything to like tie them up. So after a long journey, they do fall down. So I'll just quite simply stick elastic bands over each end. And then, I don't know, it just stops them from falling down. I need to do that on the front ones as well, which I'll do now. You may have noticed the speakers were already down. Um, I actually haven't done any music this last two days. So I didn't actually have those to take down. But normally, I unscrew them at the back, um, strap them in like they're my children. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I never travel with the speakers up, mainly because if I was to, ha if 
hopefully this will never happen, but if something was to happen, there'd be like two cannonballs. So um, it's mainly a safety thing, that really. I think that looks like it. Everything is off the, oh, keyboard. This is how I broke it yesterday, lifting it down onto the floor. That is it, it is quite simple. You can get it down to a T in about two minutes. Let's hit the road to the airport. Fingers crossed we get somewhere to park. Just doing my final little checks, making sure tyres are all good. You basically don't want a gap. I mean, you want to have a gap between these tyres, otherwise they're too flat. Check the suspension. Make sure there's nothing hanging underneath, which there isn't. We're all good. Off to the airport, thanks. Nature for a lovely little stop. So I've tried to park at the two places recommended to me by the airport and I can't even get in. Oh, this is saying no lorries now as well. Yeah. This is the problem guys, when you've got a big vehicle, when you want to join like normal society, it's really hard. I guess, how many people have a big vehicle that then fly somewhere? Hiya there, um, I was recommended a car parking space because I have quite a big vehicle. Um, at P22, but sadly I don't fit, I can't actually drive into the gate. I'd have to take up two spaces long, because I'm quite a long vehicle. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for your help. Thank you, bye. Yes, guys. Right, I'm allowed to park in here. I've got permission. We're all good. Let's go park the bus. First time every time, baby. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog about you guys hosting your own events, I've got a message in the last half an hour of me driving that basically has all the locations where people are going to be watching the film, like, simultaneously. Is that how you say it? So, we've got Oakley and Northman, Tim and Annie in Cambridge, Bettina in Australia, Ollie in California, Rob in New Zealand, Corey in Asia, Louis and Raya in LA, Virginia in Mexico, Berivan in Berlin, Naomi Robinson, I think she's UK, and Rachel Erasmus, who is also UK. We've got a worldwide viewing, like a premiere of this film. So not only have I got tomorrow to worry about, but yeah, we've got it kind of worldwide. So um, yeah, I am, I am nervous. I'm very nervous. It feels like there's a lot of responsibility um, resting on this whole thing. So yeah. So I've just been sat doing some more emails. It's now 2.45. Um, I felt really frustrated actually because my supplier for the t-shirts, I've ordered a whole new batch. There's been a delay in like everything. The medium t-shirts that I've just had to reorder because they went so quickly are now not gonna make it out. So I'm really frustrated because I don't know what to do. The nature of this tour and being on the move like all the time is that I don't have a set location so if there's anybody out there that is between Dusseldorf and Copenhagen that can maybe have the a box delivered to them um, and would be willing in the next month so that I can still sell t-shirts and stay on the road and keep fuel money coming in yeah let me know that'd be really really helpful so annoying isn't it Ugh, right, three o'clock, I've got three hours, um, and I still have a list of things to get through. Mundane things, it feels funny that the first day that I'm vlogging, I'm not doing any music today. It's all admin and stuff that needs happening, so like film music, the music that's in the film, I need to make sure the licenses are all cleared and that ready for when we publicly release it in a month's time. Um, I've got a few sync sync deal admin things to do as well. Although the video I put out last week, we didn't get the sync deal for that. There have been a few that have come through, so um, obviously that's great news. Although the only downside about sync stuff is you don't get the money for like, I won't get the money for that until after this tour, which is really annoying. General boring stuff, guys. I mean, I've probably chosen the wrong day to start vlogging. At least you guys are seeing the real deal of what goes on here. I'm in so many conversations with people on WhatsApp and email about tomorrow. It's taken over everything, but I've just, I have just written a script for Wednesday's video. Um, as you guys know, Wednesdays are my higher production videos. Uh, I really love making them. I think they're 
they're really fun and um, going to be an amazing memory. So I've just written the script for it. I'm now going to record the voiceover because it's mainly going to be voiceover this week. So I've got half an hour to do that and then I need to head for the airport. In which case, I thought it would probably be best to leave you here. Maybe I can balance it here. We'll go slightly wonky. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I hope it was a good little insight. Really super casual. I'm hoping that days in the future are a bit more like outside of the bus. But I think to get things going, giving you a load of information kind of in one has been quite helpful. I hope been helpful. So let me know down below you uh, whether you've enjoyed spending an admin day, not a very interesting day, but an admin day with me in the bus. And it's been a good insight into kind of how hectic it goes behind the scenes. Hope you enjoy Wednesday's video. Wish me luck. Thank you for tuning in. Other than that, I will see you guys soon. I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care, look after each other, and remember, never stop creating.